The interstellar hub of Zeta-5 buzzed with life, its air filled with a cacophony of alien languages and the scent of a thousand worlds. The market sprawled like a living organism, vibrant stalls and shops crammed into every available space, offering goods from across the galaxy. Captain Jax Harlow, with his pet Riker by his side, navigated through the bustling lanes, marveling at the diversity around them. Riker, resembling a terrestrial wolf but larger, with shimmering fur that caught the light in a spectrum of colors, moved with a calm assurance that drew more than a few curious glances. Jax, a seasoned space explorer, had visited many such markets in his travels, but Zeta Fives was unique, a melting pot of the galaxy's myriad cultures. He and Riker were on a simple supply run, seeking rare minerals and perhaps a few exotic spices that Jax had developed a taste for. As they moved through the market, Jax's hand occasionally brushed against the sleek fur of his companion, a gesture that seemed to reassure both. Their casual browsing was interrupted when an alien merchant, with skin the color of deep space and eyes that shimmered like stars, approached them. He introduced himself as Vex, a Zaltharian, known for their keen business acumen and insatiable curiosity. Vex's gaze lingered on Riker, a mixture of fascination and something akin to fear flickering in his starry eyes. Is this creature for sale? Vex inquired, his voice carrying the musical quality common to his species, though it trembled slightly at the edges. Jax chuckled, a warm sound that seemed to ease the tension slightly. No, Riker isn't for sale. He's not a creature to be bought or sold. He's my companion, my friend. Vex recoiled as if struck, his eyes widening. A companion? You mean to say this predator walks freely among your kind? His voice was incredulous, the idea of such a powerful beast as a mere pet clearly alien to him. Jack sensed the growing discomfort and with a reassuring smile knelt beside Riker, gesturing for Vex to come closer. He looks fierce, I know, but Riker's been with me through thick and thin. He's saved my life more times than I can count. Where I come from, many of us form deep bonds with animals. They become part of our families. Vex hesitated, then driven by curiosity that outweighed his fear, stepped closer. He extended a trembling hand towards Riker, who sniffed it gently before giving a soft nuzzle. The simple gesture seemed to break the ice, and Vex's fear turned to wonder. I've never... I mean, we have creatures on Zalthar, but none are so... domesticated, Vex admitted, his voice a mix of awe and confusion. It's all about trust and respect, Jax explained, standing once more. Riker trusts me, and I respect his nature. It's a partnership. The conversation shifted, with Vex asking questions about Earth and its customs, and Jax inquiring about Zaltharian goods. As they spoke, a crowd began to gather, drawn by the sight of the fearsome beast and the alien engaging in peaceful dialogue. It was then that Vex, impressed by Jax and Riker's bond, mentioned a problem plaguing the market, a problem that perhaps a human and his unique pet could solve. Unbeknownst to Jax at that moment, this conversation would set them on a path that would change the market of Zeta-5 and perhaps the galaxy forever. As they parted ways for the moment, with promises to meet again, Jax and Riker continued their supply run, unaware that they were now the center of whispered conversations. The encounter had sparked something in the market, a flicker of change in the galaxy's vast expanse. The encounter with Vex left an imprint on the atmosphere of Zeta V's market, whispers swirling in their wake as Jax and Riker continued through the stalls. The market, always alive with the buzz of trade and negotiation, now hummed with a different energy. Jax could feel the curious eyes following them, the mixture of apprehension and intrigue palpable in the air. Riker, ever sensitive to his companion's moods, stayed close, his presence both a comfort and a statement. Later that day, as the twin sons of Zeta V began their descent, casting long shadows over the market, Jax and Riker found themselves at a quaint cafe nestled between a bookstore overflowing with ancient tomes and a tech vendor displaying gadgets that seemed to defy physics. It was there, over a cup of steaming Zaltharian brew, that Vex found them again, his earlier trepidation replaced by a hesitant curiosity. Captain Harlow, I have been thinking about our conversation, Vex began, taking the seat opposite Jax. Riker, lying beside the table, watched the alien with a calm interest. Your relationship with Riker, it is unconventional, from my perspective. But there is something admirable in it, a bond that transcends species. It is something I have not witnessed before. Jack smiled, sipping his brew. It's not uncommon where I'm from. 
Earth has a long history with animals as companions. Dogs, cats, birds, even more exotic pets. Their family. Vex nodded, absorbing this information. On Zalthar, the creatures resembling your Riker are apex predators, untamed and feared. To see one so... docile, it challenges many of my assumptions. It's all about understanding and mutual respect, Jax reiterated. But I get the feeling this isn't just a casual visit, Vex. What's on your mind? The Zaltharian hesitated, then sighed, a sound that seemed to carry the weight of the galaxy. The market, as you've likely seen, is a place of wonder, but it also attracts less savory elements. A group of bandits has been causing trouble, stealing, threatening the vendors. The authorities are overwhelmed. And you think we can help? Jax asked, an eyebrow raised. Vex's gaze shifted to Riker, then back to Jax. Your presence, the bond you share, it has already begun to alter perceptions. Perhaps you could provide assistance in dealing with these bandits. In return, I am prepared to offer you the supplies you seek, at no cost. Jax considered the offer, the potential risks and rewards. Riker, sensing the shift in the conversation, sat up, attentive. Dealing with bandits isn't exactly what we came here for, Jax began but we can't stand by while people are in trouble. Riker and I have handled our fair share of tough situations. Tell us more about these bandits, and we'll see what we can do. Relief washed over Vex's features, his earlier reservations seemingly forgotten in light of this new alliance. As they delved into the details, a plan began to take shape, one that would require all of Jack's and Riker's skills and perhaps even challenge their understanding of what it meant to be a hero in this galaxy. Thus, a partnership was forged over Zaltharian Brew, under the watchful eyes of the market's myriad inhabitants. Jax and Riker, once mere visitors in search of supplies, were now embroiled in the local struggles of Zeta-5, their actions poised to ripple across the stars. As the twin suns of Zeta-5 dipped below the horizon, casting a golden hue over the market, Jax and Riker sat in a secluded corner of Vex's shop, poring over a holographic map that projected the layout of the market and its surroundings. Vex pointed to several areas highlighted in red, explaining each location's significance and the bandit's known activities. These bandits have been a thorn in our side for months, Vex explained, his voice laced with frustration. They're not just thieves, they're bullies, using fear to control and exploit. They've got a hideout here, he pointed to a sector on the outskirts of the market. But they're cautious, always moving, never staying in one place for too long. Jack studied the map his strategic mind analyzing the information. We'll need to draw them out, make them think they're in control, then we strike. Riker can help with that. His presence alone should cause quite a stir. Riker, lying beside Jax, tilted his head, as if understanding the gravity of the situation. Vex looked between the human and his pet, a sense of hope kindling within him. I never imagined asking a human and his... companion for help, but perhaps this is the change we need. The plan they devised was simple, yet risky. They would stage a high-value transaction in one of the highlighted areas, using a rare mineral as bait. Jax would play the role of a wealthy trader, while Riker, with his intimidating presence, would act as his bodyguard. The aim was to attract the bandits' attention, drawing them into a trap where Jax and Riker, with the help of a few trusted market vendors who had suffered at the bandits' hands, would confront them. Preparations took place over the next two days. Vex and Jax secured the cooperation of the market security team, a ragtag group of volunteers from various species, each with their own reason for wanting the bandits gone. They practiced the operation, with Jax and Riker at the center, ensuring everyone knew their role. The night before the operation, Jax and Riker took a moment to themselves. They stood outside Vex's shop, looking up at the star-filled sky. Jax placed a hand on Riker's head, a silent promise of the bond they shared. Whatever happens tomorrow, buddy, we do it together, Jax whispered. Riker nuzzled his hand in response, the universal language of trust and companionship speaking volumes in the silent night. The day of the operation dawned clear and bright, the twin sons of Zeta-5 casting a hopeful light over the market. Jax donned the attire of a traitor, while Riker's natural appearance needed no enhancement to convey his role. Together, they made their way to the designated area, the weight of their task settling over them. As the market came alive, the energy of the day's routine commerce buzzing around them, Jax and Riker took their positions. 
The rare mineral, a glowing stone that pulsed with an inner light, was placed prominently on a table. It wasn't long before whispers began to circulate, the bait catching the attention of the market's denizens, and, more importantly, the bandits lurking in the shadows. Vex, watching from a distance, couldn't help but admire the courage of the human and his companion. They stood as beacons of hope, not just for the market but for the possibility of understanding and unity in a galaxy too often divided by fear. As the first of the bandits appeared, creeping towards the bait with greed in their eyes, Jax and Riker readied themselves. This was the moment of truth, the culmination of their plan and the beginning of what they hoped would be a new chapter for the market of Zeta V. In the early hours of the morning, before the market of Zeta V stirred to life, Jax and Riker were already in motion. Their plan required careful execution and, above all, an element of surprise. The duo had spent the previous night finalizing their strategy, and now, as the first hints of dawn painted the sky, they set out to lay their traps. The area chosen for the operation was strategically picked for its narrow passageways and limited entry points, allowing for better control of the bandits' movements. Jax, with his background in military tactics, had identified several key locations for surveillance and ambush. Riker, with his keen senses and agility, would be instrumental in herding the bandits towards these traps. Their first stop was a small workshop owned by a Telnarian mechanic named Grax, who had suffered at the hands of the bandits more than once. Grax, a hulking figure with a gentle demeanor, had eagerly agreed to help, offering his technical skills and a small arsenal of non-lethal gadgets designed to incapacitate rather than harm. With Grax's assistance, Jax and Riker installed a series of trip nets and stun traps along the main passageway leading to the operation's focal point. Each trap was carefully concealed, blending seamlessly with the environment to avoid early detection. As they worked, Jax explained the importance of non-lethal measures. We're not here to cause harm. We want to stop the bandits, yes, but it's more about sending a message. Fear and violence only breed more of the same. We need to show there's a better way. Riker, understanding his companion's intent, patrolled the area, his senses alert for any sign of early bandit activity or other threats. His presence alone reassured Grax and the few other vendors who had arrived early, setting up their stalls and watching the preparations with a mix of curiosity and hope. Once the traps were set, Jax and Riker moved to the next phase of their plan, rallying the market's security team. The team, a diverse group of volunteers from various species, had their doubts about the operation's success. However, Jax's confidence and Riker's calm demeanor won them over, uniting them in their common goal. Jax held a brief meeting, outlining the plan and each team member's role. He stressed the importance of coordination and nonviolent restraint. Today, we're not just defending our market. We're proving that unity and cooperation can overcome fear and greed. Let's make sure everyone goes home safely bandits included. The team dispersed, taking their positions and preparing for the day ahead. Jax and Riker, now at the heart of the operation, waited for the market to come alive. The rare mineral, pulsing softly on its display, seemed almost aware of its role in the day's events. As the market began to fill, the energy of commerce and conversation swelling around them, Jax and Riker shared a quiet moment of reflection. They had done all they could to prepare. Now, it was up to the bandits to take the bait. Vex, watching from a distance, marveled at the transformation. The market, so often a place of cautious transactions and wary glances, felt different today. There was a sense of anticipation, a collective holding of breath for what was to come. Jax and Riker, standing together, were more than just a man and his pet. They were symbols of hope, of the possibility that even in the vast and varied galaxy, common ground could be found and peace could be achieved through understanding and respect. The heart of Zeta V's market throbbed with the vibrant pulse of commerce, its many inhabitants blissfully unaware of the impending confrontation. Amidst this backdrop, Jax and Riker, the orchestrators of a daring plan, positioned themselves with the rare, glowing mineral as bait. The air buzzed not just with the usual trade, but with a tension that spoke of the stakes at play. As the market day progressed, an unusual calm settled over the area designated for the trap. Jax, ever vigilant, noted the subtle shifts in the crowd's dynamics, signs that word of the high-value transaction had spread. Riker, equally alert, remained by his side, his senses tuned to any hint of danger. The first sign that the bandits had taken the bait was a subtle one, a flicker of movement in the shadows, a hushed conversation cut short. Jax caught Riker's eye, 
a silent message passing between them. It was time. As the bandits emerged, confidence etched into their movements. They were a study in controlled menace. They approached the bait, unaware of the eyes that watched them from every corner. Jack stood ready, the plan they had painstakingly prepared about to unfold. Without warning, the market erupted into chaos. Traps, hidden among the stalls and pathways, sprang to life, ensnaring the bandits in nets of light and sound. Riker leaped into action, a ghostly figure darting through the confusion, herding the bandits away from any potential escape routes. The bandits, caught off guard, scrambled to regain their footing, their initial confidence shattered by the unexpected resistance. They hadn't anticipated this level of coordination or the presence of a creature like Riker, whose formidable size and agility turned him into a force of nature. Jax moved with a calm precision, guiding the market's security forces as they closed in. The operation, a blend of meticulous planning and spontaneous adaptation, was working. The bandits, realizing their predicament, tried to regroup, but it was too late. Amidst the din, a lone figure attempted to break through the encircling net, aiming for a narrow alley that offered a sliver of escape. Riker, anticipating the move, intercepted him with a growl that resonated with primal authority. The bandit froze, then slowly raised his hands in surrender, the fight draining out of him. The showdown, intense and brief, ended with the bandits captured and the market safe. Jax and Riker, at the heart of the success, were met with cheers and applause from the vendors and shoppers, their earlier trepidation replaced by relief and admiration. Vex approached, his expression one of awe and gratitude. You've done more than capture bandits today, he said to Jax, his voice carrying over the crowd's murmur. You've shown us the strength of unity and courage. Zeta-5 will not forget this day. As the captured bandits were led away, the market slowly returned to its rhythm, the day's excitement becoming a shared memory that would be recounted for cycles to come. Jax and Riker, once outsiders, were now woven into the fabric of Zeta-5's history, their actions a testament to the power of cooperation and understanding. The day's victory was not just about the foiling of a criminal plot, but about breaking down the barriers of fear and mistrust. As the market closed and the twin suns set, casting long shadows over the stalls, Jax and Riker stood side by side, their bond stronger for the challenges faced, their spirits buoyed by the knowledge that they had made a difference. In the aftermath of the showdown, the atmosphere in Zeta-5's market had transformed. What was once a place marked by the cautious whispers of wary vendors and the shadow of fear cast by bandit threats was now alive with a renewed sense of community and safety. At the heart of this transformation were Jax and Riker, whose actions had rippled through the market, becoming the stuff of legend almost overnight. The following day, as Jax and Riker made their way through the market, they were met not with the curious stares of strangers, but with the warm smiles of friends. Vendors whom they had never spoken to before offered them gifts of gratitude. Exotic fruits from distant worlds, handcrafted trinkets, and tokens of appreciation. Each gift was accompanied by words of thanks, reinforcing the impact of their bravery. It's not just about stopping the bandits, explained an elderly vendor, her eyes gleaming with a mixture of respect and kindness as she handed Jax a small, intricately carved figurine. You've shown us what it means to stand together, to face our fears. You've given us back our sense of security. Riker, too, was the recipient of much affection, with many coming forward to pet him, offering treats and gentle pats, a stark contrast to the initial wariness his appearance had once evoked. Children, especially, were drawn to him, their laughter ringing out as they played around his feet, unafraid and full of joy. The change in perception extended beyond the boundaries of the market. News of the operation and the role Jax and Riker had played spread throughout Zeta-5, carried by the digital winds of the interstellar net. The story, embellished with each retelling, became a beacon of hope and a testament to the power of unity and courage in the face of adversity. Vex, who had become a close ally, approached Jax with an offer. The Galactic Council has heard of your deeds. They're intrigued, not just by the defeat of the bandits, but by the partnership between you and Riker. They see potential. Jax, intrigued, listened as Vex explained. The Council was interested in learning more about Earth, its cultures, and its species, particularly the bond between humans and their pets. They believed this understanding could foster deeper connections between the many civilizations of the galaxy. They've invited you to speak at the Galactic Assembly, Vex continued, his eyes shining with excitement. 
This is an unprecedented opportunity, Jax. You and Riker could become ambassadors, not just for Earth, but for a new way of thinking about our place in the galaxy. Jax felt the weight of the offer. It was one thing to face down bandits in the heat of the moment, another to stand before the galaxy's myriad species and speak on behalf of his world. Yet, as he looked down at Riker, who met his gaze with unwavering loyalty, he knew they were ready for whatever came next. The decision was made. Jax and Riker would go to the Galactic Assembly. They would share their story, and in doing so, perhaps pave the way for a future where the bonds of friendship and trust extended across the stars. As the twin sons of Zeta V set, casting the market in a soft, golden light, Jax and Riker stood side by side, looking out at the bustling stalls. They were no longer just a man and his pet, wandering the galaxy. They were heroes of Zeta V, about to embark on a new journey that held the promise of uniting worlds. The market of Zeta V, with its colorful tapestry of life and laughter, was a testament to what could be achieved when beings from all corners of the galaxy came together in mutual respect and understanding. And as the night drew in, wrapping the market in a cloak of stars, Jax and Riker walked forward, their steps echoing the heartbeat of a galaxy ready for change. The journey from Zeta V to the Galactic Assembly was one filled with anticipation and reflection for Jax and Riker. As their ship coursed through the stars, Jax pondered the weight of the task ahead. Speaking before the assembly wasn't just a matter of sharing their tale. It was about bridging worlds, fostering understanding across the vast expanse of space. Riker, sensing his companion's contemplative mood, stayed close, a constant source of support. Upon their arrival at the Galactic Assembly Station, a marvel of engineering orbiting a serene blue gas giant, they were greeted with a mixture of curiosity and reverence. News of their deeds had preceded them, and beings from countless worlds looked on with interest as Jax and Riker disembarked. The assembly was a gathering like no other, a melting pot of the galaxy's diversity, with representatives from thousands of planets. The architecture of the station reflected this diversity, with sections designed to accommodate the varied needs of its many visitors, from aquatic environments to areas bathed in darkness for those from nocturnal worlds. Vex was there to meet them, his excitement palpable. The Council is eager to hear from you, he explained as they made their way through the station's corridors. Your actions on Zeta V have sparked a dialogue we've not seen in cycles. There's talk of forming a coalition, one that could work towards peace and security across the sectors. Jax nodded, the importance of their mission settling in. We're ready. It's not just our story, it's about what we can achieve together, despite our differences. The day of the speech arrived, and Jax stood before the assembly. Riker by his side. The vast auditorium was filled with representatives from across the galaxy, their attention focused on the human and his pet. Jax began, his voice steady. We come from Earth, a world rich in diversity where life in all its forms is celebrated. Riker here, he gestured to his companion, is not just a pet, but a partner, a member of my family. Our story, the stand we took on Zeta V, was not about heroics, but about cooperation, understanding, and respect. He spoke of Earth's history, of the bond between humans and animals, how it had evolved over millennia. He shared tales of Riker's bravery and loyalty, drawing parallels between the companionship found on Earth and the potential for such bonds to transcend species and worlds. The challenges we face in the galaxy are many, Jax continued, but if a human and his dog can stand alongside beings from across the stars and make a difference, imagine what we can achieve together. It's not about erasing our differences, but embracing them learning from each other, and building a future where all beings can coexist in peace. The assembly listened in rapt attention, moved by the sincerity of Jax's words. When he finished, a moment of silence hung in the air, a collective breath held across species and worlds. Then, applause broke out, a thunderous cascade of sound that filled the auditorium, resonating with hope and the promise of new beginnings. After the speech, many approached Jax and Riker, expressing their admiration and gratitude. Dialogues began, tentative at first, then growing in confidence. Discussions of alliances, of shared knowledge and resources, of a united front against the challenges that faced the galaxy. Jax and Riker had become more than just ambassadors for Earth. They were symbols of unity, of the possibility that lay in partnership and mutual respect. The Galactic Assembly, once a place of politics and division, buzzed with a new energy, a shared vision for a collective future. As they left the auditorium,
Jax looked at Riker, a smile spreading across his face. We did it, buddy. We started something here today. Something big. Riker barked in agreement, his tail wagging as they stepped out into the corridor, the stars beyond the windows shining a little brighter, the galaxy feeling just a bit smaller and more connected. The aftermath of Jax's speech at the Galactic Assembly was a whirlwind of activity and emotion. His words had struck a chord, sparking conversations that spanned the spectrum of the galaxy's diverse inhabitants. The idea of a human and his pet standing up for unity and cooperation had captured the imagination of many, turning Jax and Riker into symbols of hope and collaboration. In the days that followed, Jax found himself in a flurry of meetings with representatives from various planets, each eager to discuss potential alliances and exchange ideas. Riker, ever by his side, became as much a part of these discussions as Jax himself, embodying the spirit of the bond Jax had spoken about. One particular meeting stood out, a roundtable discussion with leaders from systems where the concept of companionship between species was foreign. Jax shared stories of Earth, of the myriad relationships between humans and animals, not just as pets, but as partners in life's journey. He spoke of service animals, rescue teams, and even the simple, everyday companionship that pets offered. As he talked, Jax could see the walls coming down, the skepticism fading as the representatives began to see the value in such bonds. Questions came, fast and curious, about how these relationships were formed, about the benefits and challenges, and how they might be applied in their own worlds. Riker, for his part, charmed and disarmed the attendees in equal measure. His gentle demeanor and intelligent eyes provided a living example of everything Jax described, making the concept not just an abstract idea, but a tangible possibility. The discussions led to the formation of an interstellar coalition aimed at exploring the concept of interspecies companionship further. It was an ambitious project, one that would require understanding, patience, and a lot of work. But the foundation had been laid, and the excitement was palpable. Jax also took time to connect with those who had been skeptical, understanding that change was a process, and respect for differing views was crucial. He found that even among those who doubted, there was a willingness to listen, a curiosity that had been sparked by the sincerity and conviction of his message. The assembly ended with a ceremony that felt more like a celebration, a gathering of beings from across the galaxy, united in their diversity and hopeful for the future. Jax and Riker were honored not just for their bravery on Zeta V, but for their role in igniting a movement that could change the galaxy for the better. As the event concluded, Jax stood looking out at the assembly, Riker at his feet. He felt a profound sense of gratitude and responsibility. What started as a simple act of defending a market had grown into something much larger, a testament to the power of unity and the potential for kindness to bridge the vastness of space. The journey back to Earth was a time for reflection for Jax. He thought about the future, about the possibilities that lay ahead. The galaxy was a vast, complex place, filled with challenges and opportunities. But he believed that, together, they could face what came next, building a future where understanding and compassion were the cornerstones of the interstellar community. Riker, sensing his companion's contemplative mood, nuzzled closer, a silent reminder of the bond that had started it all. As their ship sailed through the stars, Jax knew that whatever the future held, they would face it together, a man and his pet, partners on a journey that had only just begun. After their return to Earth, Jax and Riker's story became a beacon for change, not only within the confines of space stations and galactic assemblies, but also at home. The tales of their adventures and the speech that had touched the hearts of countless species across the galaxy resonated deeply with the people of Earth. Schools taught about their journey as a lesson in empathy and unity. News outlets followed their story, eager to share each development in the burgeoning interspecies coalition that Jax had helped to inspire. But the true impact was felt in the initiatives that sprung up in the wake of their return. Earth's leading scientific communities, inspired by the potential of interspecies companionship and understanding, launched programs dedicated to exploring the benefits of human-animal bonds, not just for companionship, but as a bridge to greater ecological and planetary stewardship. Jax, always a humble man, found himself thrust into the role of an ambassador, not just for Earth, but for the ideals of cooperation and mutual respect he had championed. With Riker by his side, he spoke at conferences, participated in diplomatic missions, and worked with leaders and scientists to forge partnerships based on the principles he had outlined in his speech. 
Riker, too, became a symbol of the bond between species, his story a testament to the potential for understanding and friendship that transcended language and biology. Together, they visited schools, attended events, and even helped to establish a sanctuary that rescued and rehabilitated animals, both terrestrial and extraterrestrial, fostering bonds that echoed the one between Jax and Riker. The ripple effect of their actions on Zeta-5 and at the Galactic Assembly was profound. The interspecies coalition grew, encompassing worlds and species eager to explore the concepts of companionship and mutual respect. This coalition worked on projects that ranged from environmental conservation efforts to initiatives aimed at peacekeeping and conflict resolution. Among the stars, the legacy of their speech at the Galactic Assembly lived on. The concept of Earth's pets, once a curiosity, became a symbol of the potential for unity and diversity. Delegations from various planets visited Earth, seeking to understand more about the planet's cultures and ecosystems, and to explore the possibility of interspecies partnerships within their own societies. Jax, ever the explorer at heart, found a new purpose in these efforts. He worked tirelessly, leveraging his newfound influence to advocate for the protection of natural habitats, both on Earth and across the galaxy. He understood that the bond between humans and animals was just one part of a larger ecological tapestry that needed to be preserved. As for Riker, he enjoyed the adventures, the new friends, and the chance to nap in sunlit spots on dozens of worlds. But most of all, he cherished the quiet moments with Jax, when the cameras were off, and it was just the two of them, reflecting on the journey that had brought them together, and the path that lay ahead. Their story, a single thread in the vast tapestry of the galaxy, continued to inspire. It served as a reminder that even the smallest acts of kindness and understanding could have far-reaching consequences, bridging worlds and hearts in the endless dance of the cosmos. Years passed, and the galaxy continued to evolve, but the legacy of Jax and Riker remained a constant beacon of hope and unity. Their story, once a series of remarkable events on Zeta V and at the Galactic Assembly, had grown into a legend, a tale told and retold in countless forms across countless worlds. On Earth, Jax and Riker's journey had sparked a global renaissance of sorts, with societies becoming more mindful of their relationships with the natural world and the creatures that shared their planet. Schools, institutions, and governments had adopted policies that reflected a deeper, more holistic understanding of Earth's interconnected life systems, inspired by the universal truths that Jax and Riker had exemplified. In the wider galaxy, the coalition that Jax had helped to form had become a pivotal force for good, mediating conflicts, fostering interspecies dialogues, and spearheading conservation efforts on a galactic scale. The notion of companionship, once an Earth-centric concept, had found new meaning among the stars, with many species adopting similar practices, celebrating the bonds formed between different life forms. As for Jax and Riker, they had quietly retired from their public roles choosing to spend their days on a peaceful, verdant world at the edge of the galaxy. Here, in a home that overlooked rolling hills and clear, shimmering lakes, they lived out their days surrounded by nature. Though they no longer stood at the forefront of galactic diplomacy, their influence was felt in every initiative they had helped to start, in every life they had touched. Jax, older now, spent his days chronicling their adventures, determined to leave behind a record that might inspire future generations. Riker, ever faithful, was content to lie by Jax's side, though his ears would still perk up at the tales of their past exploits. Their quiet retirement was occasionally interrupted by visitors from across the galaxy. Diplomats, scholars, and ordinary beings whose lives had been touched by the duo's legacy. Each visitor brought stories of how Jax and Riker's message had influenced their world, their society, or their personal lives. These stories were a source of joy for Jax, a testament to the enduring impact of their journey. In the end, Jax's Chronicles were published, a collection of memoirs, insights, and philosophies that encapsulated their shared experiences and the lessons they had learned. The book, titled Beyond the Stars, The Journey of a Man and His Pet, became a bestseller across the galaxy, its pages a mirror reflecting the potential for unity, compassion, and understanding in the vast tapestry of cosmic life. Jax and Riker's story concluded not with a grand finale, but with a gentle sunset a peaceful closure to a life of adventure and impact. Their legacy, however, lived on, a beacon for all who sought to build bridges across the stars. It was a reminder that the most profound connections are often the simplest, 
rooted in the universal languages of love and companionship. And so, as the stars wheeled overhead, the galaxy spun on, a little brighter and a little kinder, thanks to the journey of a man and his pet. Their story, a testament to the power of unity and the strength of the bonds that tie all living beings together, continued to inspire, a legend woven into the fabric of the cosmos itself.